my name's Louise Nixon and welcome to Hugh News. So, to support you navigating around the college and our various different campuses, we wanted to identify to you what the letter meant before the number of the room. So if you have the letter B before your room number, that means your class will be in the burial building. If it is an S, that means your room is based in the lifestyle building. If the room has a T, an A or a W in front of it, that means your lesson will be in our Port Academy building. If there is an L in front of it, that means you're over in the University Centre. And if there is a C in front of it, that means your class is in our St Winifred's campus. Okay, the next two weeks are our review one period. So just to keep you uh, informed, you have not got any progress coach sessions this week. This is a time which allows our progress coaches to contact you individually if you've got any concerns regarding your course and make sure that you're happy, you're on the right course and we can support you in any way if you do feel like you want to change onto another vocational qualification. So just to recap, there are no progress coach sessions this week but if you have answered no on the questionnaire that at the moment you're a little bit unsure about the course that you're on your progress coach will contact you and they will set up an appointment to see you over the next two weeks okay so I just want to briefly go through the process of for students that do not have a laptop okay so first of all we did ask you a question when you enrolled did you have IT or um, laptop or internet access and some of you identified that on your enrolment form don't worry if that didn't happen please inform your PC if you do have any issues regarding that first of all what will happen we will try and work off a list that we've already got and the PC will contact you regarding the fact that you may need a laptop if you are entitled to a bursary, you will go down into our pod, you will fill out a form and they will um, order you a laptop through bursary and that laptop will become your own. In the interim period, the RPC, the Pro Retention and Progression Officers in the pod, will um, contact IT and in the meantime, we will lend you a college laptop till your own laptop arrives. And this is for students only who are eligible for a bursary. For those of you that are not eligible for a bursary, we will give you a college laptop. Again, there's a form that needs to be completed and this will be signed out and this will need to be returned to us at the end of the academic year. We are going to be concentrating over the next couple of weeks on those students between 16 to 18. For our mature learners, we will also support you. So from the 5th of October, laptops also will be available to yourselves. And the same procedure will, you will go through. If you let your PC know, they will arrange with you to go down to retention and progression offices if you're eligible for some form of bursary. If not, the college will lend you a laptop, but it will need to be returned at the end of the academic year. If you have any worries, any concerns regarding laptop or internet access, please speak to your staff. We are here to support you with that and at no point should this be any barrier to your learning. We've had a really good response from you as students who are interested in being our FE student governor. Um, so we will now be in contact with you, so thank you very much for showing your interest and you'll be invited to a Microsoft Teams session. This is being held either on Monday the 28th at 2 o'clock or Thursday the 1st of October at 11 o'clock. If I invite you into that Monday session and Thursday works better for you or vice versa, please just let, send me an email and I can swap you in. So in those sessions, we're going to inform you about what is required to be a student governor and our Director of Governance, Anne-Marie Nixon, will also have a chat with you and enables you to ask any questions you want uh, before we move forward in the process of finding our new FE Student Governor. So linking in with Student Governor, we now need to bring together our student voice. Student voice is a really important part of Hubert College and it's a great opportunity for you to be involved and change the horizon of the college in which you study. So what I'm looking for once again is your show of interest. What it means by being part of our student voice is we ask each learner from each division, so for example, hairdressing, motor vehicle, learning for life, Thornton, South Sefton, 14 to 16, year 10 and year 11. 
we would like a representative from each one of those areas. What happens is we come together as a collective, we discuss things that are happening across the college, you raise any concerns with myself, and it also enables you to sit in front of the principal once a term. So from Monday on social media, on my day, it will enable you to show interest in being a divisional rep. Once you do that, we'll be in contact uh, with you and identify the days that we're going to do some informative Q&A sessions um, and hopefully we can get our student voice together and set up before the end of term. Thank you. So thank you very much. I have asked over the last two weeks of Hugh News for you to let me know what you're doing either at home or in college. And as I keep saying to you, that's really, really important. This is your news, not mine. Um, and it's great for us to know what's happening and what our students are up to. So this week, one of our students has been in contact with me and that's Sean O'Brien. He's currently doing his Duke of Edinburgh Silver Award um, and his plan is to walk 25 miles and raise a thousand pounds for charity. Um, we've placed the link on the screen. So if you'd like to support Sean in this amazing endeavor to raise money for charity by walking 25 miles, please do. And once again, send me anything in that you're doing, anything you're doing for charity or stuff the clubs you're involved in or things that are happening around your community or what you're doing in college. My name's Louise Nixon. This has been Hugh News. Have a great week.